Hi guys and welcome to the Destro Lock changes and reworks guide for the BFA Alpha. So in as usual in, from the other videos I'm going to be going through the single target talents and then the AOE talents. I'm out of range. So to start off with there's Soul Fire which has been added to um, Destro. Burns the enemy soul doing a critical strike for 4294 damage and its damage is increased by your increased by your crit chance. You don't really want to take this at the start of expansion because everyone's stats going to be super, super low and you're not going to have a lot of crits. You aren't going to get your full use of soul fire. There's also flash over which com conflagate deals 10% increased damage and grants you an additional stack of backdraft. I don't take this due to the fact that I like to use all my chaos bolts in one go. So if you use one chaos bolt and then a chaos bolt after another, they're going to deal 10% more damage. And obviously with Conflagate, it's going to give you 5 um, Soul Shards. Um, with Chaos Bolt costing 2 Soul Shards, you can do a Chaos Bolt after another Chaos Bolt. And it will hit the target for 10% more damage. Next one you have Shadow Burn, which is what it was like in all previous expansions. And that um, you just blast the target and if it kills the target, it resets the cooldown. Internal Combustion, Chaos Bolt consumes up to 5 seconds of Immolate and deals damage to the target. I don't like using this one due to the fact if it takes off my immolate I'm just not going to be generating soul fragments as much and I have to reapply immolate so that's why I take reverse entropy just in case that if I when when I use my chaos bolt and I get that extra haste it's just going to be really really good for me just all together to get my spells back up on the target next one's down to you but I take burning rush just due to the fact it gives me more um, speed um, and your next one it's really down to you what you want you can take cataclysm which calls for some cataclysm and deals damage to the target and all eight all damage around the target and gives them immolate fire and brimstone as it was in um in all the other expansions and inferno the reason i take inferno is due to the fact that i can just place it down even on a single target fight and it gives me an extra chance of getting fragments as well as immolate next one's down to you but i take dark fury just because it's a huge aoe stun and it's just reducing that cooldown by 15 is really really good um grimmer of sacrifice Warring Blaze and Grimmer of Supremacy. Grimmer of Sacrifice, as it was in all the other, your spells have a chance to deal 429 additional shadow damage. Warring Blaze, Conflagate burns the target for an additional 556 fire damage over 6 seconds. And Grimmer of Supremacy. So when you have an Infernal active, every soul shard you spend increases the damage of your Chaos Bolt by 5%. This is good, so every 3 minutes when you get your Infernal cooldown, you're going to be dealing huge, huge damage with your Chaos Bolts. Next one, Dark Soul. It just infuses your soul with unstable power, increasing your critical strike chance by 30% for 20 seconds. Channel Doom Demon Fire as it was in Legion and Soul Conduit. I just take ja Channel Demon Fire just so when I have downtime I have something to cast. I don't really like Dark Soul because it's just it doesn't really line up nicely with your Infernal and it seems like you have to wait a bit to line them both up. Because when you line them both up you'll do big damage but they hardly ever line up together. And Soul Conduit I just don't really ever get that much use out of it is what I feel. So... I'll just start off and show you the rotation. This is pretty much the same for all of them. So you're going to start off with um, with three soul shards. So I usually start off with a chaos chaos bolt. As you can see, it's got the new effect, and then immolate the target and conflagate. Use my incinerates. Use my incinerates. And now I'll get ready to use chaos bolt. Make sure I keep up my immolate on the target, so I'm getting soul shards. I'm also now going to summon my um, Infernal and channel Demon Fire while it's up. I'm just going to make sure that I'm always using up my charge of Conflagate when I've got it. So now I'm going to use up my Chaos Bolt and use up Incinerate and Conflagate and now use another Chaos Bolt while I've got Reverse on Entropy up. So now obviously with Grim Rule Supremacy my damage done by Chaos Bolt has increased. Now I'm going to use my Chaos Bolts one after another. So use a Chaos Bolt, place Havoc on the target and Chaos Bolt again, and then going to use Demon Fire, just to keep the target getting hit by all my Demon Fires, and obviously this is going to give me big, big, big um, Soul Shards, so I'm going to use a Conflagate after this, and I'm going to use two Chaos Bolts in a row, due to the fact that I'm going to deal big damage to the target with Reverse Entropy, and now I've got the extra haste, so I'm just going to deal big, big damage, and now I'm going to use my Conflagate, and reapply Havoc on the target, uh, Demon Fire, now use Conflagate and my Chaos Bolt. It's going to deal more damage now after my Chaos Bolt. So I'm going to deal big, big, big damage. 
incinerate, incinerate in the downtime, then use Confrigate as soon as it's up, and I can use another Chaos Bolt. After this another Chaos Bolt, I'm going to reapply Immolate. And as you can see, Destro is in a really, really good place at the moment, especially for you're just getting loads and loads of Chaos Shards much quicker, and it's just really fun to play now. In Legion, it was a bit boring building up Chaos, um, building up uh, your Soul Shards, but now it's, it's quite fun to do so. So that's it for the um, for the single target lead, uh, talent, sorry, and now I'll get into the AOE ones. If I just quickly dismiss my pet, there you go, and turn to Tranquil Mine. So you want to take um, you want to take Confligate here, so you can Confligate a lot of the targets. Um, Shadow Burn on this one, due to the fact you can use it on all the um, targets which is, which are just going to be dying, so you want to use that. Next one's down to you again. I just take Burning Rush for that extra speed so I can run around quicker. Next one I always take is Fire and um, Brimstone due to the fact that you're going to be spamming Incinerate a lot. And due to the fact you're not going to be using your Soul Shards on Chaos Bolts, you're going to be using it on Rain of Fire. So I just always use Fire and Brimstone due to the fact I'm using Incinerate a lot in just in the downtime. So I always take Fire and Brimstone. Next one's down to you again. I usually take Dark Fury just because, you know, it's just stuns all the targets and for my next talent I'm going to take Grimmer of Sacrifice due to the fact that I'm not going to be using Chaos Bolts at all really I'm always going to be using my Chaos uh, my Soul Shard sorry on Reign of Fire and never on Chaos Bolt so I don't get the full use of Grimmer of Supremacy and I don't really ever get the full use out of Roaring Blaze so Grimmer of Sacrifice due to the fact that when my Reign of Fire is hitting the target there's a chance to deal additional shadow damage to them Next one I take is uh, Channel Demon Fire again, due to the fact that all these, all the targets hit with Immolate are going to be hit by these um, barrages. So I take that one, and I don't, yeah, like I said, I don't really get the full use of Soul Wonder and Dark Soul. So now you just want to start off by putting Immolate on all your targets, Immolate on all your targets, then putting down a Rain of Fire and using Shadow Burn and Confligate, and now also using your Incinerate so it hits multiple targets. In all the targets, make sure emulates on all the targets. I can use my channel doomfire now, put down an additional rain of fire, use up shadow burn and confligate on the targets so I can get another rain of fire down. So we'll get down another rain of fire and use incinerate, use incinerate. I'll put down another rain of fire, use shadow flame, shadow burn, reapply emulate on all the targets so they're all getting hit damage. Just reapply Immolate on all the targets, put down my Summon Infernal now that I've got one, and Channel Doomfire. And then from this, I'm going to use my Shadow Burn and my Confligate, making sure all my targets have Immolate. So all you want to do really is just using your filler spells, like your Shadow Burn and your Incinerates on the targets. As you can see there, that was a brilliant, a brilliant um, portrayal of the AoE potential. So I'm hitting all my targets with Immolate, so I'm getting loads and loads of shards on my, yeah. And then I'm using Rain of Fire. Rain of Fire down, so it's hitting all the targets. Incinerate, just keep incinerating, reapplying um, Immolate to all the targets. And use Channel Doomfire. Use Channel Doomfire now. Reapply my um, Rain of Fire. Use all my Confligates and Shadow Burns. Reapply Immolate. Use up a Incinerate. Incinerate, so it's hitting both targets. Put down another Rain. Hit all my targets with Incinerate. Make sure Immolate's reapplied on the targets. And you're going to be getting loads and loads of Shadow you're going to get loads of those soul shards, especially with your shadow burn and your confligate. So that's going to be hitting all the targets. You just got to make sure that you keep in immolate up on all the targets so you're gaining passive um, shards. So as you can see, just big, big damage. You don't ever really want to be using um, chaos bolts unless there's two targets. So you can apply havoc on that target and then use chaos bolt on this one. So you get two chaos bolts all like this. So it's hitting both targets with big, big damage. But yeah, that's it. You just basically want to just keep up your Immolate on all the targets. So you're gaining passive Soul Shards and then using it on Rain of Fire. And never really using Chaos Bolt unless there's two targets. So that's it for the um, Destruction Lock guide. Um, like and subscribe and comment if you want more guides in the future. And see you in the next.